Hello everyone, uh, this is Olaf of olafphotoblog.com and uh, we visited uh, uh, London, Barcelona and right now we are at our last stop of our photographic trip uh, in Krakow. And here's Jurek, my best Hello. childhood <laughs> friend. We have known each other for forever ever and I'm really really happy to be with him and he's showing us around Krakow. And Jurek, please tell us where we are right now. Right, and here we are um, on the bridge connecting the modern part of Krakow with uh, Old City. So on my left hand side over there, uh, we can say the old monastery in which uh, there are tombs of uh, famous Polish poets, including a Nobel Prize winner, uh, Czeslaw uh, Miłosz, and uh, famous people, important people in Polish history. Right, just behind us, so behind the two cool guys standing here, uh, we can see uh, the Wawel Castle, so this is the symbol of Krakow, the seat of the Polish kings, because uh, maybe you don't know that, but Krakow used to be the capital city of Poland for many years, uh, back from the medieval times until, well, uh, 17th century. So then the capital city moved to war was moved to Warsaw. So during cloudy days, uh, I very often use black and white preview uh, uh, in my X100F. It's just there's no good light, so there's no good color. And black and white uh, helps you to simplify the image and just to see the composition better. If you like big cars, that's something for you. Actually, in the communist times, um, a family consisting of two adults and three or four kids, well, it was using that. Actually, without any problems, uh, they put all the luggage on top of that and, <laughs> and they went to the seaside on holidays or, <laughs> or on long journeys somewhere. So this is actually a relic from the communist times called the Little Fiat. And imagine that Tom Hanks will get a copy of that one too. It will be white, but still. <laughs> he liked it when he was with uh, Ian Kaczmarek here in Poland. And uh, the uh, old car, uh, vintage car rovers decided to reconstruct one of those and send it to the US, to Tom Hanks. I think he will enjoy it in Los Angeles. It's our second day in Krakow, in Poland. Uh, we are doing street photography. And uh, you remember very often I'm talking about finding a, a great stage before as a starting point of your photograph. Uh, sometimes I said you're looking for the light, uh, but sometimes all you need is a great stage. And it's, uh, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes uh, a stage itself could become the subject of a photograph. And this is a really great example right here. I noticed the play of light with this very simple elevation of the, of the old buildings and this green grass. And notice how the shadow cuts through the middle, which gives you really opportunity to use this shadow, this black area, uh, as a part of your design. And, uh, and I think uh, there are so many, so many possibilities to arrange these elements around the frame by just walking uh, both directions. Of course, it would be really nice if you could have even extra element like a person walking into the, 
uh, into the sunshine, but it's not going to happen because this is grass and, uh, and the main pathway is just right here. So, but even though without it, it's really, really great, uh, a great stage to, to take a very strong photograph. We are right now in Kazimierz, uh, Krakow's, Krakow's Jewish quarter, and this is really, really beautiful area with lots of history. Many uh, creative people are living here. Uh, the atmosphere is just fantastic. Sometimes it's important before you start photographing just to stop and soak up the atmosphere, have a feel for the place, and then start photographing. Okay, so Jurek, our friend, brought us to this location, which is actually very cool. teach my students that photography is all about magic you know it's it's all about finding some type of visuals or a scene that usually during a day people miss or don't see so look at the uh, at the reflection at the top of the building I'm just shooting my camera up and probably I need to crop it slightly but if you look at this image, you would think you look at some sort of a street scene, which could be actually quite interesting. And nobody, nobody will be able to figure out what's happening in the image. So today we just cannot stop. It's evening, it, it's, it's dark, but we are still photographing in Krakow. And uh, because we don't have much light right now, I switch cameras. As you can see, I'm shooting with the X-Pro2 uh, plus 56 uh, 1.2 lens. And just listen to this.
we are now in the very heart of Krakow, the Market Square, Rynek in Polish. Uh, this is the biggest medieval uh, market square in the world, in Europe, so it means also in the world. So over there, there is a, a St. Mary's Church and uh, the medieval supermarket <laughs> uh, called Sukinice, where you can buy all the souvenirs you want. And, well, oh, you can see the horse carts <laughs> as well. Right, this is the cloth hall, the so-called Sukienice in Polish. Uh, we can say it's kind of a medieval supermarket. Um, it's really original. It's a genuine building from the Middle Ages. And uh, people were doing shopping here. And also around that there were a lot of stalls. So we can say it's like an old shopping center <laughs> from many, many, many years ago. I really like shooting through different sort of textures or windows or even material. It gives you uh, it, it gives your image uh, extra texture. It's almost like it, it's dreamy. And this is exactly what I'm trying to do right now. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, because if the if the texture, if the thing you shoot through has any distortion or or is too dense, then it won't work. But it's worth trying. Sometimes you can get a really amazing shot. <laughs> 